Yo guys, Spiderbot here. This is a weapons guide for Black Ops 2 Zombies, the Assault Rifle M27. This weapon is exclusive, at least at the moment, to Nuketown Zombies. It is not available in Transit or in any other survival maps, and there she is. We've got 30 rounds in the gun, an additional 240 rounds available for taking out those despicable zombies, which is what we're going to do here on round 20. Again, with double tap, the assault rifles are just as effective as the LMGs. Obviously, we have less ammo, less point whoring capability. And again, this gun falls in behind the Galil. I'm not sure exactly where it falls in line compar in comparison to all of the other assault rifles. But once we get down from the Galil, I really don't care at that point. I mean, I'm trying to hit the, the box for point building to get one of the LMGs, to get the Galil. Uh, and if I do get any of the other, the other assault rifles, I'll use them until the ammo's up, and then I'll swap them out for something else. Um, even shotguns, or depending on what we're doing at the time. So, uh, still pretty effective here with uh, double tap on round 20. We're going to go and actually upgrade this gun. You can multiple upgrade uh, this weapon, the M27. Uh, first off, we actually get the reflex sight. I know uh, the last video I said, well, it's got a red dot on it. It's a red dot sight, but this is a reflex. I guess they really call it reflex sight. There's no red dot sight for, uh, for assault rifles. So with the upgrade, we get an additional 120 rounds. And again, obviously, these are upgraded rounds, so they're more effective against the zombies. It's going to take, the, take less rounds to get through the rounds. Less bullets to get through the rounds. Let's, let's use that word. All right, moving right along. Again, these guns are going to be effective up until at least around 30, especially when you're running co-op in, in an individual area such as we are. We uh, don't really run into any trouble until we get up into at least the uh, the rounds above round 30. So we're going to go and upgrade it a couple more times. And, you know, quite honestly, it just, after going through some of these weapons, it just feels like Treyarch added this in just because, like sort of a, as an afterthought perhaps. Um, I mean, not only does the cost not change, like if I'm up there with an upgraded M27, it's still saying it costs me 5000 to upgrade it again, even though it only costs 2000 And really, the attachments I don't feel are great for zombies. I mean, yeah, it's fine for multiplayer, but for zombies, I really don't see... Uh, a real need for getting attachments. I mean, the target finder is kind of cool. I mean, the attachment I have on here, I don't even know what the attachment is I have on here. I mean, it could be uh, quick draw, it could be stock, uh, it could be fa fast mag, I don't know, it could be FMJ. I mean, there are four, probably about four um, options here, or four attachments from multiplayer that it could have had on there. Uh, we've got the MMS site. Again, it, it's totally useless. It's useless. It's not useful at all, in my opinion, in zombies, so it's kind of a waste. Uh, so we do upgrade it a few times. I don't... We probably don't get every single weapon upgrade combination here or attachment. Again, not sure what attachment I had on there. I didn't have any noob tubes. Um, I don't even... Can you even get a, a noob tube? Oh yeah, you can get a launcher on, on your, uh, your assault rifles. So there's a target finder. I mean, the target finder is cool, but again, completely unnecessary. So uh, the multiple upgrade thing, you know, I'd prefer to have seen them do something like we did a series on Proper Tree. If you look on our channel, search for Proper Tree, Road to All Gold Guns, where you can upgrade them twice and get gold guns. And they're actually different. They have different effects and the ammo is more powerful. But it is what it is. Hope you enjoyed. I'm Spider and I'm out.